Welcome to iDency's Anvis M5 installation and user setup guide with Crosscheck software. Introduction In this video we will show you how to configure and install your Anvis M5 outdoor fingerprint and RFID reader for secure access control. Which can be connected to a magnetic or electric lock. This is what we will be covering in the video. First, we will show you how to configure the M5 for your network and connect it to the Anvis Crosscheck software. Then, we will show you how to wire the M5 up to the controller, power supply, and electric lock. Finally, we will show you how to register your employees' fingerprints and RFID cards. Parts required. Please note most 12 volt 1 to 2 amp power supplies will suffice. You can connect the SC011 controller to most 12 volt magnetic locks if you already have a lock in place. Connect the M5 to Crosscheck software. Before you install your M5 on the wall, you should install the Crosscheck software and connect the M5 to it. This will allow you to easily configure the network settings for the M5. We will provide you a link to download the software. Once installed, log in with user admin and no passwords is required. Some settings can be pre-configured during the install of crosschecks, but they are not needed for access control and can be skipped. Once the software is installed, Lift the grey flap on the back of your M5 and connect the supplied short USB cable to the M5. Connect the other end to the PC that you installed the software on. Run the Crosscheck software and navigate to the Device tab at the top of the screen, and then click Add Device. In the middle of the screen, click Search and your M5 will appear. Select it and add it. You will see an icon for the device appear above, plus device info is shown in the bottom left hand side. This is where you can modify some of the device settings and you can give it a name, which is very useful if you have multiple devices. Do not change the device number. The only time you will need to change the device number is if you have more than one device. Configure network settings. You now need to configure the network settings for your device for when you install it on the wall and connect it to your network. Right click on the device icon in Crosschecks and select set the IP configuration. Tick each item you need to change and set these to match your own network. Usually you will need to check and update the following. IP address, default gateway and subnet mask if it doesn't match your network. The IP address should be set to a unique IP on your network and if necessary, ensure that it then won't be allocated to any other device. Also ensure that work mode is set to server. Don't change server IP address or the items below that as they are not used. Press OK to save and upload to your M5. You are now ready to test the M5 on your network, so please disconnect your M5 from your PC and remove the USB cable. Connect the RJ45 socket with the short lead that came with the M5 to the mini plug you'll find attached to the wires out the back of the M5. Plug a Cat5 patch cable that is connected to your network into the socket. To ensure the M5 is now connected to your network, try and ping the IP address you entered earlier. If the ping is successful, you know the M5 is successfully connecting to your network. Now go back into Crosschecks and edit the device settings to be LAN rather than USB settings. Add in the IP address you used into the field there and click Save. The M5 should connect right away. To test it is working, try and sync with the device by clicking download all records. You may now disconnect the M5 from that network cable as you're ready to install it on your wall. Wiring the device. Your M5 is now ready to be installed on the wall. 
You will need your power supply, the SC011 controller, a network cable in the wall to connect the M5 to, and the plus and negative power wires available from your lock. The M5 needs to be wired to the supplied SC011 controller and then the SC011 is wired to your power supply and also to your electric lock. The first step is to get the correct set of wires for the Anvis M5. The M5 is wired into the right hand side of the SC011. If you have an exit button this is also wired into the right hand side. For your lock and the 12 volt power supply, you can see here how each wire goes into the Anvis SC011 controller. It's important to note the red wire looping between the live 12 volt input and COM. On this table you can see the functions, numbers, cable colors and descriptions of each wire and where it correctly goes into the controller. Please study the pictures carefully before wiring the devices as any damage caused by incorrect wiring is not covered by warranty. Pairing the M5 with the SC011. When the M5 is connected to the SC011 and both are powered up, switch the SC011 into program mode. Place a registered fingerprint or swipe a registered card on the M5. It will send its encrypted ANVIS Wigand code to the SC011. The SC011 will beep once. This will complete their connection. Switch the SC011 back to normal mode. Everything should now be configured and ready to work. Please test that a registered fingerprint or RFID card opens the lock. Also, connect the network cable that's installed in the wall to the M5 and do a sync of records with cross checks. If both of these tests work, then you can finish your installation. Registering a user's fingerprint and RFID card. Before registering a fingerprint, please ensure that your fingers are clean and dry. You are trying to cover the whole of the sensor with the fingerprint, so make sure they don't press it like a button. Lay the finger flat. To register your fingerprint, you must first swipe your enroll card. Then you will see that a blue LED flashes. You must then place your finger on the sensor and the blue LED will flash fast once again and the fingerprint sensor will light up. Place your finger one more time and then a green LED lights up with four short beeps, indicating a successful registration. To finish the enrollment, swipe the enroll card twice. A red LED flashing with two long beeps means the finger has been registered. You can also add two fingerprints to one user ID. You can do this by swiping the enroll card. While the blue LED is flashing, place your first finger and then the blue LED flashes fast and the fingerprint sensor lights up. Place the first finger again. Now we can continue to register the second finger. Place your second finger on the sensor Place the second finger again and then swipe the enroll card once. You can now continue to register another user or swipe the enroll card twice to end the enrollment. Please refer to this instructional picture. To register an RFID card you must first swipe your enroll card. Then you will see that a blue LED flashes. You must then swipe your user card and then the blue LED will flash fast once again and the fingerprint sensor will light up. Swipe the user card one more time and then a green LED lights up with four short beeps indicating a successful registration. To finish the enrollment, swipe the enroll card twice. If you ever need to delete a fingerprint or an RFID card, you can do this via the software cross checks. Now that you have registered a fingerprint and an RFID card, you can see how the locking mechanism works when you use your finger on the sensor. Creating or replacing your enroll and delete cards. Your M5 will be supplied with enroll and delete cards. If these are lost or need replacing, you can follow this procedure to create new ones. Press the function button on the back of the device until you hear beeps. 
This removes any previous enroll and delete cards from the device and starts the process for adding new ones. After that, you must register both the enroll and delete cards to run the machine. To register the management cards, you will need the M5 in its original state with the blue LEDs flashing. Swipe the enroll card, you will then see the green LED light up with four short beeps. The red LED light will then appear, swipe the delete card and then the green LED will appear once again with four short beeps. For more information please contact us at IDENCY on 01252 727 103 or visit our website at IDENCY.com.